Hello viewers and welcome back to episode 34 of Saving South End with me, Bell Nation. Since we last met against Wickham on Friday, we have gone on an unbelievable run of form, which actually sees us at the moment top of the table, which sets up nicely for two games against teams that are very close to us in Peterborough and Cambridge. Roll the intro, we'll have a quick look at the form and then we'll get stuck straight into this first game. And as I said, viewers, since we last met, we've gone on an unbelievable bit of form. We are undefeated in four league games, five games in all competitions. We followed that Wickham win with a 2 all home draw against Accrington, where we were down to 10 men straight after half time. And we conceded in the 89th minute to draw one all. We scored with Amari Hutchinson, Ben Cotter on the 24th and 26th minute. We were unlucky, I think. I th there to concede so late on. We were 1-0 down really early as well, but I do think Accrington made that one-man advantage just pay it towards the end and we were very tired. Either way, not a bad result at all. The Pizza Trophy saw us win our second group game against Aston Villa under 23s with goals coming from Flores, Malthrin and Dieng to win 3-2. We then beat Newport County 2-0 away from home with Miles Kenlock scoring and Marcelo Flores scoring. In the Essex derby, we put... Colchester United to the sword and won 5 0 with four different goal scorers. Flores scoring, Stanley, then Humphreys, and Udoa getting a late brace in the 92nd and 93rd minute, with him getting an 8.1 from the bench, which is unbelievable. But what a performance that was against our closest rivals. And then in the last game, we beat Fleetwood 3 1 with Reese Bennett getting a brace and Udoa getting another one as well. Today we take on Peterborough, who are currently sitting in fifth and Cambridge, who are sitting in ninth. As I said at the start of the episode, we are currently sitting in first. We've scored 29 goals and conceded just 10 with a good positive goal difference of plus 19. Three teams on 27 points, one team on 26. Peterborough, the first opponents today, are two points behind us, and Cambridge down in ninth on 21, six points behind us. These two games really could have an impact on our season and really set a marker down. If we can pick up four points, I'd be happy with four. That's that's the marker I'm setting at the start of it. Let's get into this Peterborough game. Dieng is suspended for today's game and that means he misses out. So the starting 11 is Archie Mayer in goal. Miles Kenlock at left back with Medley and Bennett in the centre with McCormack coming in at right back for Prince, a team who's picked up a knock and has been doing really well recently. Tashaka and Turner are in the middle with Malthrin on the left. Flores on the right and Hutchinson is in behind Humphreys leading that line for us. Yudoa's on the bench. Could he be a super sub again today? We'll have to find out. Tell the boys that we've got the faith in them to go out and do it. And I think this is going to be a really good game. And like I said, this could set down a massive market in the early stage of this season. Kickoff is here then at Roots Hall. Can we make home advantage pay today? Mayor with a goal kick early in this first half, just 50 seconds in, Malthrin into Hutchinson in the middle. What can he do? Bringing it forward, carries on Flores on this right-hand side. Peter playing in the pink today, McCormack ball in, Humphreys, he's hit the post. After just a minute and 10 seconds, McCormack with a good ball in, and it's hit the post, but it's gone out for a corner. Kenlock ball in, Bennett's there, and it's headed away by Peterborough. Coming forward in this pink kit, Reed now on this left-hand side. Can we defend? This highlight's still going on. It's all come from Archie Mayer's goal kick, and Tashaka clears it. And that is the end of the highlight. Ford with the throw in for Peterborough, and it's cleared away by Hutchinson. Peterborough pick it up again, though, with Kent here. Down this right-hand side, Ford into Taylor. In the middle, Reed out to Miller, but McCormack heads it away. And Peterborough pick it up. No, they don't. Humphreys has got his foot on the ball, but he's lost it a little bit too easy in the centre there. Reed into Ford now. Clark Harris is someone that we've got to watch. Mensa ball in. McCormack is there again to clear it away. Up to Humphreys up top. Someone's on the overlap there. I think it is... I don't know who it was, actually. I think it was Bennett. No, it was Malthrin, sorry. Humphreys on this left-hand side now. Ball across. And Flores is there for his fifth goal of the season. Humphreys with a lovely low ball across the face of goal. And Flores is rushing into the penalty area after just five minutes to stick it into the bottom corner. Good ball by Kenlock to pick out Humphreys there. Does well. First time in behind the fullback. And Flores loses his marker and sticks it in the back of the Peterborough neck. Neck? Net and makes it 1-0. Another Peterborough highlight here. Smoddocks with the ball on the left. Can we defend against him? Bennett's 
a little bit weak there, but it's headed away. Hutchinson picks it up now in the middle. Come on. What can he do with it? Out to Malthrin on that left-hand side. Rashawn. He's seen goal. He's seen the goal. He's seen his name in the headlights. In the in the headlines, sorry. McCormack with a long throw in and Flores, but Pim heads it away. Flores just couldn't get there. Hutchinson picks it up at the edge of the area, though. Coming forward still. He's still got the ball. I mean, I think that was a shot. I think that was a shot. If Humphreys could have got his head to that, though, I think that would have been 2-0. Do you know what? We'll praise the boys here. I think this has been a very even game so far. But we seem to just be edging it at the moment. We should be 2-0 up, though. I mean, that that was a, definitely a shot. If Humphreys could have just stuck his head on that, like I say, Stephen Humphreys would have had another goal to his tally. Plus 20 goal difference after just 14 games at the moment. He's unbelievable. After a really, like, heated, fiery start, it seems to have petered out a little bit, but there is a highlight here. Medley into Turner. Ball to Kenlock. Plays it short into Malthrums. Picks up a knock. We'll have to keep eye on that. Kenlock, Turner now. What can he do? Medley into Malthrin. Hutchinson bringing it forward. Finds Humphreys one on one. And there it is. Stephen Humphreys with his fourth goal of the season. Puts it past the Peterborough goalkeeper. And there it is. 2 0 after just 40 minutes here. And we have looked good for this. Well, this scoreline at the moment, really. Hutchinson, he's involved in the move along the way. And Humphreys there with a good ball into the. That's a good ball. A good shot into the back of the net. And there he is. He pulls a little bow and arrow. Because he's found the target. And we are currently sitting top of the table by a point clear of Ipswich in third. And joint top with Preston. But 10 goals clear of them. We'll tell the boys we're very happy with what they've done. And they look inspired and motivated by that. I don't want to put too much pressure on them. But I do think the home, the Roots Hall crowd is really helping us on here. No one's really having a good game for Peterborough at the moment. The striker's having a 6.3, which is good for us. McCormack with a bullet throw in. Humphreys picks it up. Back to McCormack. Gets the ball in. And Malthrin. Oh, he's missed such a good chance. If he'd have headed it into the floor, it would have been three. Headed it into the floor, and that would have been in the back of the net. Oh, that was such a good chance. Hutchinson into Humphreys. Humphreys, what a shot that is. Hutchinson, double H, is back at the double. And there he is, Hutchinson into Humphreys. And we saw it in the second, that partnership working. It's worked for the third again. It came from a poor clearance there by Kent in the Peter of Sands, which Bennett headed it forward into Hutchinson. Humphreys got in between the two, had time to set himself up, did, and it's in the back of the Peter Burnett. And it's 3-0. Well done by Bennett there as well to win the ball back. Humphreys just on side as well. Really, really good timed put, put through a ball to him. We'll make a change. I think we've not seen a lot of Malfrin, and he has picked up a potential groin injury, so we'll bring him off for Connor Stanley. Don't, I don't think we'll be bringing Udoa on today, actually. We'll bring Ollie Turner off for James Morton, and we'll leave it at that. With another throw in, McCormack, long throw in. Morton flicks it on, Flores should have done better. Hutchins to the edge of the area. Oh, and it's gone in, but the assistant referee has called for a offside there. I don't know who it was against. It looked good, that move. It looked really good. McCormack looks very comfortable at taking those long throwings, which is, again, something we have set up. What can we do here? Headed away again. Peterborough bringing it forward now. At the edge of the area, Gillespie. Oh, and that was Gillespie? I don't know how you pronounce that, but that was a long-range effort, which almost went into the back of the net, to be honest. But, again, it's gone wide of the post, and we're still at the top of the table, doing really well. 15 shots, 7 on target. We'll make a change in a minute after his heart just to wind the clock down. Kenlock down to Stanley on this left-hand side. Can he whip the ball in? He stood up. He's somehow still got the ball. Cutting inside. Humphreys looking for his hat-trick. And a weak header means he is denied and stays on the brace. Three minutes to go. Tashaka into Medley. Morton now back to Tashaka. Hutchinson out wide to Flores. What can he do? Trying to get past his full-back but doesn't. Gillespie is there to clear the ball down. And Clark Harris comes forward for Peterborough. Got in behind. I think that was Bennett there. He's had a go and he's rattled the post from inside the penalty area. But Kenlock clears it and it's gone out. We will make our final change with 10 seconds to go. We'll bring McCormack. In fact, we won't bring McCormack off. We'll bring Humphreys off and we'll bring Mija on. No point in bringing Udoa on because I don't want his confidence to be shot. And there it is. A 3-0 victory. An all-round good performance. Stephen Humphrey with a 9 is our man of the match. An update has seen player ratings improve. It's so a good to see Kenlock with a 7.4 and McCormack with a 7.3. A 
all the defence with a really strong performance there. And Mayer with a 7.3 as well. Hutchinson 8.4. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We'll tell the boys that was a good win for us. We'll, we'll tell everybody that as well. Because they'll all appreciate that. And there we go. A 3-0 victory to kick off the episode. And what a way to carry on our momentum. Cambridge have won by the looks of it. Where is their result? They've gone up to 7th. They have won against Wigan. So does that give them an advantage going to the next game? We'll have to find out. Join me again in a minute and we'll play that Cambridge game. Two changes for this Cambridge game then, viewers. Connor Stanley comes in on the left-hand side for Rashawn Mouthrin. And Dien comes back into the middle for Tashaka as well. So the starting 11 is Archie Mayer in goal. Kenlock at left-back. Medley and Bennett in the centre with McCormack on the right. Dieng and Turner in the middle. Stanley on the left. Flores on the right. And Hutchinson and Humphreys... Well, Humphreys up top and Hutchinson just in behind him. And they're building a bit of a partnership as well, which is good to see. Looking for... I predicted four points before the, the start of this game, or the start of this episode for these next two games. We picked up three against Peterborough. If we can pick up another three here, I would be delighted. But I'd also be very happy with a point. Momentum is definitely on our side at the moment. Hopefully, we can continue it. Here we are then. Kickoff is underway here at Cambridge. Can we pick up a victory to keep us top of that table? We are keeping one eye on Preston as well, who are close behind us, but there is a 12-goal swing in it at the moment if things stay the same. 15 minutes in, the first how it comes to Cambridge here. Out Ryder with Bennett now. Ball in. Oh, and it's in the back of the net. It's in the back of the net. Archie Mayer didn't really have a lot to do with that there. I think it's just took a nick off their striker there to go into the back of the net. We'll have a look. Bennett with a ball in. It was a fast ball in. It's headed on and a bit of a defensive mix-up there. I don't know who that was. It was Medley there by the looks of it that's just made a little slight mistake and not defended the ball as best he can and has put us onto the back foot. But we'll demand a bit more. Hutchinson into McCormack. McCormack bringing it forward now. Back to Dieng in the middle. McCormack again. Dieng, Humphreys. Dieng again. Finds Hutchinson. Good ball through to Flores. One on one with the goalkeeper. And Flores straight at the keeper. But it's gone out for a corner. Can one of the centre backs get up there and stick their head on it? Oh, and it's gone close. Hutchinson out wide to Kenlock now. Whips a ball in. And that is the end of the highlight. And Preston are going top with things how they remain. Edge of the area now. Muir. With Har Hannant now, Mania, I don't know how you pronounce their names, but Cambridge with the ball just playing it between the pair. But Hutchinson nicks in, wins the ball easily there. He's brought it forward. Humphreys getting in the middle. Hutchinson still going. Humphreys is there, and Humphreys and he's bounced off the defender. But Hutchinson, look, ball in Stanley. Oh, how's that not gone in the back of the net? How did that not end up in the back of the Cambridge net? Dieng, edge of the area. What can he do? Just holding the ball up nicely. Loses it and he's got a free kick in a dangerous area. Can we whip this ball in? Hutchinson steps up. Gets the ball in. Does and Medley's out the back post. Straight into the goalkeeper's grasp. Straight at his chest. Not performed our best so far. Coming up to half time. I think we need to get into these boys a little bit more than what we are doing at the moment. Humphrey's not having a good game. There are some tired legs. Saturday, Tuesday is coming back to bite us. Hannant steps up for the free kick. Oh, and it's gone past the post. May have made that maybe look a bit more of a camera save than what it needs to be. But either way, it's a bit close for my liking. I mean, look at that XG. We're 1.51 and Cambridge and not 0.16. And we're 1-0 down. It's time to get those fists pumping and tell the boys that we know what they can do. As always, a bit, they've got the ability within their bones and their boots to go out and make that difference for us. It's not like us to be 1-0 down at half time. I have to say, it's very rare that we go 1-0 down these days. That is very much the kiss of death, and I wish I hadn't said it. As we're coming up to the hour mark, no highlights in the second half. We're just going to move up to attacking. Kenlock with a long throw in into Turner, edge of the area, but Kenlock's got it back. On the byline, good ball in by Kenlock, and Flores is there with a neat header, and Marcelo Flores with as many with his second goal in as many games, and his sixth goal of the season. Wonderful ball in by Miles Kenlock there as well to hit it from the byline. I thought he was going to take it out for a throw in, but he didn't. Let's just watch that again. How he kept that ball in with his back heel, and then a powerful cross in, and Flores gets in behind his fullback, and there it is in the back of the net 65 minutes gone and it is 1-1 are they looking for an offside he looked onside I was going to say he looked onside 
I think that's Humphreys there that's just drifted offside, but he was, Flores was definitely onside. Probably going to make a change now with some a few tired legs kicking about after the two games in three days. Stanley's not having a good game, so we'll bring Nathaniel George on. Humphreys hasn't done a lot, so we'll bring Yadoa on. And I'm reluctant to bring Hutchinson or Flores off, but they are tired. So we'll bring Hutchinson off. We'll put, swap him with Oli Turner and we'll move James Morton into the middle. And hopefully that will have having some fresh legs. We'll just bring a new sort of pace about the game and that forward line for us. Ten minutes to go. We're going to demand a bit more. Cambridge Highlight, goal kick. Flores intercepts it. Yudoa, what can he do? Finds Morton into Turner now. Come on, just bring it forward, Ollie. He does. He's gone. He's gone alone. He's lost it far, far too easily. Should have given it to Kenlock on that left hand side. And Cambridge are in here. McNear and Mullen on a good save by Archie May there. For all the bloopers he's had this season so far, that is a great reaction save. And Preston are drawing by the looks of it. And we are staying top of the table by 12 points. Some tired looking legs out there. Kenlock with an eight. Can we get a late goal? Flores, ball in. Medley's there. Medley's hit the post. Oh, Zach Medley with the final chance of the game. He's hit the base of the post and it remains one all. Oh, devastating. We said four points before these two games. We've got those four points, but oh, it just feels that it feels a little bit deflating after that. And 1.82 goal difference to a 0.70. It feels a little bit deflating that result. I think we'll point the finger and tell the boys that wasn't good enough. We won't go individual, but just tell them overall and see if that has an effect. They all seem motivated by that, which is good to see. And Preston have drawn as well with Accrington Stanley, and that result confirms that we are still top of the table by 12 goals, and that is great stuff to see after just 15 games. We'll get, we're on an average of just over two points a game at the moment. If we can keep that up, we are definitely going up on the average of two points a game. And after a wonderful October, viewers, we're going to leave it there and we will come back for... We'll come back for the Portsmouth game at the start of December. So we'll play it all through November and we'll come back for the Portsmouth game who are currently sitting in fifth. Hopefully we can continue this run of form going forward as well. If you have enjoyed that video, viewers, please don't forget to smash that like button for me, share this video around and subscribe to the channel for more content. You can also check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash bellnation. Link is in that description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again for more next time.